And a little bit of breaking news to pass along to you this morning. Hurricane Florence has officially made landfall near Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina at 715 this morning as a category one storm with maximum winds of 90 miles per hour. That report coming from the National Hurricane Center this morning and still a powerful storm dropping lots of rain, especially that eye wall really has been hammering the downtown Wilmington area. You can see that eye just passing on shore here not too long ago. A very big, powerful storm out there taking up just a tremendous amount of North Carolina and South Carolina, and it's going to continue to impact them for a number of days. As far as the forecast here locally, though, this morning we're waking up with temperatures hanging out around the mid 70s. Feels like 76 as you head out the door, heading to work or school this morning. It's going to be a little warm and a little bit muggy out there. The temperatures all across East Texas mid 70s to low 70s out there. Dew points hanging around in the low 70s as well. Means it's a bit of a sticky morning as you head out toward those bus stops. You'll see temperatures in the mid 70s. A few scattered showers around heading into tonight. You'll still be dodging showers and storms. So keep the umbrellas nearby heading toward the upper 80s by later today. As far as the forecast, if you're not at the bus stop through the rest of the day, rain chances around pretty much for the entirety of the day. Again, those highs hitting upper 80s by this afternoon. Now, the satellite radar out there this morning showing the rain activity around the northern counties. You see Cass County, Jefferson, that region out there dealing with a little bit of uh, rain shower activity down through Smith and Gregg County, north of Henderson, back out into Cherokee and Russ counties dealing with that rainfall as well. All of that rain activity going to be drifting off toward the north through the morning. Heavier rain toward the south. That moisture flow going to bring us our own rain chances again by this afternoon. Back to the tropics real quick. Just one moment here. We'll show you the latest on what we're tracking all across the Atlantic. Of course, Florence just now making landfall. Tropical Depression, Isaac, Tropical Storms, Joyce and Helene. And of course, this disturbance in the Gulf. We've been keeping our eyes on the good news of this guy. While it is going to move on shore, bringing us some rain chances, it's not likely to develop. In fact, chances are down to 30% as of this morning. Your future skycast here locally shows those mostly cloudy skies continuing throughout the day. You might see a few peaks of sunshine in here, but overall going to be a fairly cloudy day. Those showers and storms do start to develop by this afternoon and evening pushing through East Texas. Chances will linger into the overnight as well, but our rain chances will really start to pick back up as we head into Saturday afternoon and evening. More showers and storms developing all across East Texas, so you'll need those umbrellas once again as we head toward the weekend. Your forecast for the rest of the day, mostly cloudy with those shower and storm chances in play. 88 going to be your high this afternoon for tonight. Still mostly cloudy. You might see a lingering shower out there. Temperatures hanging around the low 70s. Going out to under the lights, you can meet me at Longview tonight. You'll need the umbrellas as you head out there. Temperatures start the games off in the low 80s, 70s by the time we bring them to a close. Rain chances are best around kickoff in the next seven days. Rain chances remain in the forecast through the weekend start to decline as we head toward next week and the temperatures warm back up. Low 90s are in our future.